Hi, this is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next, I'm going to do a flip through of a rare Golden Age book I recently picked up. Stay tuned. All right, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. Uh, now, if you if you maybe noticed from watching my, my other videos, I am wearing the same shirt, and it's because I'm filming both of these videos uh, close to each other because I have this book out. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you watched my prior video, uh, I was talking about the, uh, uh, the Gerber Scarcity Index. And um, the, the book that I brought out was this one, which was Suspense Comics number four. And uh, if you didn't watch that video, uh, this... I recommend kind of going back and, and checking it out, but this is a book I recently picked up, and like I mentioned in that one, uh, I don't film every unboxing <laughs> I do. I didn't happen to I didn't happen to film uh, the unboxing for this one, but uh, when I did open it up and then I started flipping through it, I was concerned that it had a married centerfold, and this is a really expensive book, and so I was freaking out a little bit, and so. Um, I noticed when I was looking around online that there wasn't a lot of information out there to really help me identify or how to identify married centerfolds. And so I reached out to some people uh, that I that I know and trust on Instagram, which is why I highly recommend people get on Instagram for in, in the comic community. People are just, they're great on there. And um, they they had me send them pictures and they, they kind of gave me some advice and they walked me through it and they calmed my nerves on this book. Um, but I kind of want to throw that, that other book in there uh, real quick, just because uh, if, you're, if you're not familiar. So um, uh, this is Suspense Comics number four. This is the first L.B. Cole cover in this run. Um, the one right before this, Suspense Comics three, which again, I'll plug in up here, uh, is a Alex Schomburg cover with L.B. Cole interior and is basically the most in-demand pre-code horror book on, that, that exists. Uh, it is a ghost. You will rarely ever see it come up for sale. Maybe once a year, but probably not even that. And uh, the last sale I think that I saw was a 1.0 that sold for like 20 or 25,000 bucks. So uh, that that is how expensive and rare and in demand that book is. Now, uh, also like I mentioned in that last video, I consider this kind of like the poor man's, you know, <laughs> um, suspense comics number three because it is very similar uh, cover art um, and. I just thought, you know, when, when I did the flip through on this, I mean, there's some incredible art in here and uh, like the opening splash page is awesome. It's actually why I, I was originally considering getting, you know, sending it in for grading, even though it's it's a split spine, detached cover, detached centerfold, uh, just, but I, I think I've decided against it just because I really, I, I like being able to look into this book. Um, so. Uh, with, with all that said, I'm going to flip the camera around and we will, I'll show the interior and then I'll, I'll talk some as well about uh, identifying married centerfolds. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's flip that camera. Okay, so similar to what I did with the prior flip through video, uh, what I'll probably do is just kind of, you know, play some music uh, while I'm going through the pages. Uh, and then, but I'll, uh, I'll maybe stop and, and talk occasionally, but especially when we get to the, the centerfold. Um, so as you can see, this is this, uh, you've got these hooded guys on the, on the front and this you know, uh, guy jumping down from the, from the background. And I believe the character in the back is called Mr. Shadow. I, I can't remember for sure, uh, but I believe this is his first cover appearance, this uh, white guy right here. Um, you know, and then you've got, you know, good girl art pose in the front where she's chained down and everything. So it, it has a lot of those same elements as uh, Suspense Comics number three, but not that, in, you know, incredible uh, Alex Schomburg cover. Now, one thing I, I, I wanted to point out that I just, I, I love about this cover uh, as well is that it has, let's see, it has a date stamp right here. So March 31st, 1944, uh, which, you know, I, I love date stamps and I think that is incredible on this book. Now, like I mentioned, this is a detached cover, detached centerfold, so don't be surprised when I <laughs> flip this over and the, and the, uh, the cover uh, is just, like I said, is not attached. So. All right, uh, so you can see here, this just has this incredible opening splash page, you know, this devil character and, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, that, that's one of the reasons I said why I, I don't really 
want to get it slabbed, I love being able to see that interior art. So, uh, so now I'm going to start flipping through and you know, talk when we get to the centerfold. That, that's a pretty awesome page you know, you've got this woman kind of like laid out on, on the table and then kind of like looks like a bondage kind of situation going on in the back there Okay, so now we're at the centerfold. And the reason I was so concerned when I started flipping through this book when I got to the centerfold is that you can see the edge here is just so much more beat up than the rest of the book. Like you can see, these edges are extremely sharp. I don't know if you get over here, it's very sharp edges, very sharp top and bottom part of the page. And so my initial concern was, I was like, you know, that looks like it's been maybe from some other book and it was put in here uh, to make it complete, which a, a married centerfold copy of a book is worth significantly less than a complete copy of a book. And I mean, it's not quite as bad when you get to really rare golden age books like this, but it, but it's still, you, you, you know, it's that green or purple label versus the, the blue label. But, so I, I reached out to a few different people. Uh, one that I mentioned prior was uh, uh, Golden Age Guru, because uh, I, I recently purchased some books from him and I, uh, I, I know how much he deals in these types of books and so I, I thought that he would be helpful. There are also a couple other individuals that I know on, on Instagram that I, that I talked to that were extremely helpful with this. Um, and so what he said was that, actually, you will see this very often with these older detached centerfolds. I think he said approximately 60% of the time uh, he'll see a detach, the detached centerfold that is in much worse condition than the rest of the remaining pages. And so what you can kind of see is if you flip this over here, let me put this, let's see here, I wanna, put this here, you can see where, where the page was lining up and you've got this discoloration difference. And so this was likely hanging out, kind of getting beaten up by whatever. And whereas the interior was, was kind of fine. Now what you do to determine, or one of the, the, the method that you can use to determine if this matches this book, is you check a few different things. One of them is the, the matching page color to the surrounding pages. And you can see the page color is identical. And so that means that it was in a similar, uh, you know, humidity and, and oxidation type environment. And so these pages were aging in a similar way. Um, the next thing that you wanna look at is how does this page align with the staple? And so this, uh, this is one of these older kind of golden age books during, so during World War II, uh, a lot of these books would have a single staple. And I believe my understanding is because, because they were conserving metal for the war effort, uh, a lot of these books will have single staples instead of two staples. And I'm guessing it also maybe the comic industry, they could save money doing that too. I'm sure that's part of it. But uh, so what you do is you, you know, align the page, make sure you align the page with the top and bottom of the surrounding pages and see how well it lines up with that staple. And in this case, you know, it's, you know, we, I, can't, I can't really zoom in quite as much. Maybe I can, I don't know, let's see here. I don't know how good that, that's turned out, but, you can actually see how 
even the, the little tears match up perfectly with the staple around the staple. Now, the one thing I was also concerned about is that because it's a single staple, it's maybe a little easier to get it to match uh, than if it was a if it was two staples. But um, this one, you know, once I when I started to really look at it, and then also the other thing I did that was recommended was I, you know, when you open it, you can see. So this is where it'll be hard to see in the video, but you can see, you know, the staples lining up perfectly with that torn hole on the interior. And so those are things that you can do if you come across a Golden Age book that has uh, a detached centerfold and you're concerned about it being married or you want to confirm if it's married or not. You know, check the page color and how it matches with the surrounding pages. Uh, check the alignment of that and check the alignment of that staple with the staple holes. And you want to make sure that the top and bottom actually match closely because someone could have trimmed it to, to make it, um, yeah, let's zoom back out, uh, because someone could have, uh, could have trimmed that top edge or something to make it match. Uh, so you want to check that and then, you know, flip it open and, and see how those staples align with the interior of that. So, and how the, you know, kind of like the tear of the staple or of the uh, centerfold aligns with, with the, the actual staple itself. So those are just some things that you know you can uh, uh, you can you can use to help identify if you know the, the centerfold has been married or not. Because you will, if you deal with uh, Golden Age books enough, you will come across <laughs> married centerfolds, you know, restoration, this kind of thing. And uh, so you want to be able to identify because, like I said, it does have a big impact on the overall value of that book. All right, so that was the the centerfold uh, talk I wanted to kind of give and. I'm, I'm gonna continue with the, you know, flipping through these pages. And this is pretty cool. You know, I've, I've shown the Catman comics in the past, and so uh, here's an ad for, for Catman comics, which L.B. Cole was also uh, famous for, for drawing a number of those covers. Here's another awesome splash page. And you've got you know, a skeleton guy chasing after some people. I mean, there's some there's some great pages and interior interior pages in this book. Oh, that's what it is. It's Mr. Nobody. Uh, that's his name, the, the guy on the cover. Mr. Nobody is what his name was. And uh, we're here to the, you know, the final, make sure I don't do anything to damage anything. The final cover, the back cover, and uh, that's, that's the whole book. All right, so that was the, you know, the flip through of Suspense Comics number four. Uh, hopefully I, you know, gave some, some useful information on identifying married centerfolds, uh, just because, like I said, I, I had trouble finding much really useful information online, so uh, reaching out to you know kind of experts in the field that have knowledge of that uh, was very useful for me and, and kind of calming my nerves with that book. Kind of the, the quick recap of, of that, you know, look for the, the matching uh, page colors uh, to the surrounding pages. Uh, the fact that you will often see wear that is significantly worse on that, that outside edge for a detached centerfold than the, than the rest of the, the surrounding pages. Uh, also look for that staple to match up, the staple holes to match up when you have the top and bottom pages aligned, or the top and bottom edges of the pages aligned to the other interior pages in the book. And then also, you know, you can kind of 
uh, look and see how the, the tear marks where the, the centerfold will have torn out really align with the, the staple in that, in that book. Um, so just some, you know, again, uh, what I thought were some, some helpful tips, especially if you're starting to get into golden age books, especially raw golden age books, um, just to make sure that you're, you know, hopefully getting what you're, you're looking for, you know, when you're, when you're picking up these books. And, and just cause like I said, it can have a significant impact on, on the value of that book. If it's either complete or complete, but with a married, you know, cover or married centerfold, that kind of thing. So again, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to see more content like this and, uh, I will film some more uh, videos when I, you know, get some more books to either do flip throughs for, or, uh, you know, get some comics in. Thanks again. Yeah.